What up, YouTube? Yeah. I was scrolling through Twitter, aka X, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of people with a lot of opinions. And, you know, I got my own. Whatever. Whatever. You know, but I tend to want to sit there and say that I lean two different ways. What ways are those? Well, I'm not for it, obviously. That's just not right. Morally, it's not right. And he admits himself, morally, it's not right. But as I'm scrolling through here through Twitter, let me just tell you, we do take pedophilia pretty seriously. This guy right here gets smacked. Listen. I don't know, bro. All right. Talk. Ooh, he just got pimp slapped. Woohoo! Dang. You see, stuff like that gets taken serious, especially when you're trying to meet a 13-year-old girl. But let me tell you this. Dr. Disrespect actually didn't meet a 13-year-old girl. Rumor is, or at least rumor that we hear, it's, it's a 17-year-old girl. Let me show you something. In this little graph right here, which is taken from Google, right? These are the legal ages of state by state of consent. But what is the legal age of where he was at? Well, I don't really know where it was at. And I'm assuming it's this state right here, which is California, right? But we don't know. TwitchCon, I think, is always in California, right? You know, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but I think that's what it was said. But let me make something. What if you're able to go into the Army at the age of 17? So you mean to tell me that you're able to die for a country at 17? but not legally able to make a decision at age 17. That in the controversy is a little bit different, isn't it? Ah, and here we are. <laughs> Do you need your parents' permission to have sex at 17? Ask Google, here we go. The age of consent for sexual activity varies by state, but in many states it's 16 or 17, as you've seen the graph earlier. In Colorado, which is where I live, the age of consent is 17 with most cases uh, in most cases, with some exceptions, for example, the marriage allows ex uh, marriage couples to have sex regardless of age. So that means if they were 13, in regardless of age, there you go. So just to be clear, letting you guys know that, you know, if you are of legal age to have sex, the parents really can't say anything. So what does that mean for a 17-year-old and a 35-year-old man? Here we are some 35 year old men now obviously the google likes to throw a little guy in here like here and here and obviously you could see some of these guys ain't 35 and we know that the rock is definitely not 35 but you guys gotta understand that some of these guys are 35 and they look like this i don't know if you'd want a guy that looks like this guy around your kids. See, some people are unfortunately going bald, and that's just a fact of life for men, some men at 35. So what age or what is the right thing to do if your daughter's dating a 35-year-old and you're 17? Well... There is a thing called a moral compass. Or in some cases, you could sit there and say it's a, a belief, a belief in God. God gives you this inner spirit called the Holy Spirit. And you could sit there and say that, well, that gives you all your information you need. That in the Bible. But the Bible's not specific either. After all, was it Mary 16? Why, yes, she was. So... I'm just saying there, if a man pulled up and he's looking like one of these guys that says they're 35, would you let her date him? If he looked like this guy, this guy's head right here, it'd be a little bit awkward. But if she is, after all, in one of these states or as per right here, you as a parent can't say crap but let's just take it 
over back one notch. In the year of 2017, Dr. Disrespect had actually admitted to infidelity. Hold on. Let's see if I can find that right quick. Ah, the power of the internet. Here we are. So, Guy Beam, a.k.a. Mr. Dr. Disrespect, actually, in fact, did cheat on his wife in the year 2017, when this other allegation actually went down, but in private. Let's see. Kind of have a, a little bit of... A little bit of an announcement. Um, and I just want to be completely transparent with you guys. Uh, as you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid. And um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful. And... And blah, 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 blah. We, we, we've all seen cheaters before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've all seen people mess up their marriage, too. Okay. Wait, hold on. Was this girl the girl you cheated with? No. Long story short, no. She was actually 24 years old of legal age but this happened in 2017 as well again like i said the girl that was not that was in question aka that as he stated this man right here stated was individual minor but then he edited his tweet like three times hmm okay There's always a, a mind-boggling thing where a man can go and die for his country at 17 but can't make the decision to be with the girl who's 17 years old. But can we relate the two? Because people have been trying to make that connection and no, no you can't. Want to know why? Because you being a brave man at a young age is not the same as you. What's the word I'm looking for? Well, I guess if you have a conversation, not my words, but the words of many, many, many people who actually went and, I don't know, um, hunted these people down, should I say? Uh, they call that grooming. Is that my word? Kind of sounds like it. All right, here we are. Internet again. Oh, who, who's that lady over there? Well, that's, that's Dr. Disrespect's wife. Well, I don't know what the girl looked at at 17. But uh, his wife... Yeah, I mean... It's his wife. Dude, you got a pretty solid wife there. Just saying. Human to human. Pretty solid wife. She was willing to partake in some of your little uh, things online. That's cool. And she allowed you to have a career of uh, what you do for a living. Or at least used to, whatever the case is. Oh, you said you're leaving. I don't know. You guys tell me. Now, my honest opinion, seeing as we do take this act pretty hardcore, I just want to tell you, I know why people take, like, jobs that you may be in, friends that you may have called your friend, like Tim Tatman and that other dude, Nick Merckx, I like Nick Merckx's stance in general. He's pretty consistent. But I don't know if... Well, it's a really hard topic. If your friends are really your friends, they'll stay your friends. See, you also got to understand that the other side of humanity 
is the fact that we are humans and we make mistakes. We are always going to make mistakes. There's nobody perfect. No, not one. There's never going to be anybody perfect. If God can forgive, then humanity can at some point can forgive the stuff that he did. After all, I don't condone it, but I also can't sit there and ridicule the man, for I am a man that does sinful things too, not texting minors, of course, but just bad things in general because we're all human. We make mistakes. And in general, mistakes are mistakes. Just some things are more bad than others in society, right? Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. What I want to say here is it's unfortunate that this guy that we all looked up to, I mean, I did. I thought it was pretty cool, you know. He did some stuff. But you also got a question of the things is willing to risk it for a minor. Was Z Laner a real cheater? Was he a cheater? There's also people out there that sit there and say, Doc wouldn't risk all his career for a cheater, but he would risk his career for a minor and some text messages. 